So it's almost time for me to part ways with the car. Same thing with the Mark 6, I'm gonna go ahead and just talk about it. Reflect on the years of ownership I had with the car and I'm gonna turn this video into more like a five things I hate about the S2K and five things I I love and am gonna miss about the S2000. So uh, so let's let's go ahead and start with the five things I don't like about the car. And based on this, I think it's 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 hard to think of the reasons because there's no, really nothing that you could you could hate about it in terms of you can't judge it because it's a 14 year old vehicle. So um, let me get some water and we'll get started. So just to start off, uh, is a lack of glove box, a glove box. I know I have the center console right here that comes right down like this. I know there's a secret compartment up there, but it's really just, it lacks in terms of width-wise. So you're kind of building everything on top, on top, and just throwing everything in. And pretty soon, what happens is, and once you, it's, you're running out of space, and then a lot of things are just toppling over. And when you're driving, you can't really reach up and you know under for that secret compartment. So I would much rather have a traditional um, glove box. The soft top is not that great. I'm still using the stock one. It's still holding up for 14 years. But all these points here, the, the support bars, beams, uh, the mechanism, locking mechanism here, it, it just punctures everything. It, it, it's abrasive. So sooner or later, everything's going to tear. And it's it's a it's a hassle to replace and expensive uh, I know a lot of people a lot of shops don't prefer to do it based on time alone but I do know in the forums they have dedicated people experts who do it and charge a pretty hefty pe uh, premium so three would be three would be my flaky engine cover or not the engine cover the valve cover uh, it's wrinkle red and over time I received the vehicle that way and thinking that I would go ahead and do a weekend project and just uh, painting it wrinkle red and just baking it but I never really found the time to do that but it's flaking and it gets all over the engine bay unless you go ahead and just kind of scrape it off and that's what we did when I was up at, uh, visiting Billman for the tune-up I, I actually went ahead and just scraped everything off so it, it's 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 you know it's less of a nuisance so the second one would be, this is kind of hit or miss. Maybe other owners aren't dealing with it. Uh, when you unlock the vehicle initially and you close the door and then you want to go to the trunk or something, but you leave the keys inside here and your windows are up. This happened to me before. I, I think if you don't start the engine, the car locks itself. So luckily I had a spare um, remote nearby and I wasn't elsewhere. I was able to open the car, but uh, that, that, that gets to you because you're so used to modern cars. Modern cars, you have uh, um, a keyless entry uh, or in my vehicle, Kessie, right? That you don't have to worry about that. But for this vehicle, once you got it, once I got it, I was not familiar. I wasn't used to it. Um, you know the lack of luxury if you could put it that going back to one would be uh, you can't really blame that 2000 all right um, it, it's 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 a vehicle where you're you're it's a driving experience but not totally just drag speed right but the lack of power in a way and I'm only saying that because I drive the R uh, which is turbocharged back to back so it may definitely feel a lot different if I supercharge the S2K or even turbocharge it. But like I said, I'm only bringing that fact because I drive it back to back and I notice the lack of torque. I notice the, the lag time and start of acceleration. I'm getting off my topic, but the acceleration, because this is a throttle by cable, I think, the response time is way better. For a 04 vehicle, for a 14-year-old car, the response time, uh, pedal response time, our response time is way better than the Mark 6 and Mark 7 ever will be but in terms of just some um, power it's lacking and you definitely do feel that what you lack in torque you you you, you gain like no joke raw experience like this 
car chirps or spins out on a hard acceleration going on switching the second all right so what i love about the vehicle i mean i like the size of it um, i just fit perfect in this car so it's perfect size it handles pretty well stock wise anyway so body roll my r right now not the mark 6 but the mark 7 i'm on right now has body roll and this drives way better in terms of direct feel Nothing's gonna come close to any type of Honda transmission, in my opinion. So the six-speed is something I'm definitely gonna miss. It's really direct. It's short from factory. Uh, no short, short short shifters needed. Number two thing that I'm gonna miss, or number two thing that I love about the S2K, is the ability to hit VTEC. I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna miss this engine, the F22, or the AK RPM Redline. I'm definitely gonna miss that, and just the sound once it hits VTEC. So. So the number one thing, I'm gonna miss this whole convertible experience. It's true, as long as you're not stuck in traffic, as long as the sun's not beaming down directly in front of you, heating up your whole head, pick the right time to drive it, pick the right time to put your top down, and just drive it. Uh, don't have to go fast, just cruise, anything. This whole body itself, the, the silhouette, it's, I think it's a timeless design. Even without all the body kit and uh, exterior aesthetics, it's such a nice design. Uh, long front, short body, dual exhaust, uh, just color itself. So many, so many color options. I'm really gonna miss this car. Uh, oh, and one thing, another thing I'm gonna miss is the exhaust. It drones like crazy in here, completely drones. But this thing sounds great. But yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. This is going to be the last time you're going to see me in this vehicle. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. All I got to do is put my mind to this shit.